There are tools made for helping you improve your audio as a streamer, gamer, or video creator. In this video, I'm going to list the best desktop applications for processing your live microphone audio. I have done a lot of content on this channel regarding mixing applications or audio processing objects. However, there are tons of options out there that you might not be aware of. I wanted to take some time to compile a list of the best applications on your desktop for processing your microphone audio. I want to make note that none of the applications listed in this video are going to be plug and play or magical solutions to getting better audio out of your microphone. Every app in this video is either a virtual mixing solution or works directly with VST plugins. VST plugin stands for Virtual Studio Technology. This technology comes in a wide variety of shapes and sizes. You have a wide range of VST plugins available on the internet and many very good options that are completely free. You can find saturation knobs, EQs, vocal compression, and all kinds of different VST plugins that exist. In the description below, I have linked a variety of VST plugins that are free that I suggest you check out. You can add them to your arsenal, or if you have them already, congrats, good for you. But there are plenty of VST plugins out there that aren't listed in the description, so you should definitely go out into the internet and find what you're looking for. All of the apps listed in this video will be in the description as well. While you're on the way to the downloads in the description, make sure you stop by the subscribe and like button on the way. I want to take a moment to talk about my website, thefrancois-studio.com. Thefrancois-studio.com is a marketplace for creators. And funny enough, we have an entire section for microphone presets. These microphone presets are currently workable with Equalizer APO and we're working on adding more categories. If you're a sound engineer and you're interested in becoming a vendor on my site, consider applying today. Make sure you include a portfolio to your work so I can get you registered as soon as possible. The first app on the list is Carla. Carla is a VST hosting app developed by KX Studio. Currently, Carla is most popular within the Linux community. However, it works extremely well on Windows. One of the main objectives of Carla was to make something that would run on as many formats and platforms as possible. That means Carla is able to run on Linux, macOS, Windows, and it's also able to run on BSDs, Haiku OS, and any other POSIX compliant system. Carla has a really beautiful UI and using it is a lot more straightforward and less complex than any other VST host I have found. You can quickly upload VST plugins into Carla from the disk tab on the left by browsing the files available on your computer. The setup process is fairly simple as well. By clicking the configure Carla button at the top, you can then configure the devices on your computer from the engine tab on this window. The biggest downfall of Carla is it's not compatible with USB microphones or Windows devices. In order to use a USB microphone with Carla, you will need a virtual ASIO solution. What I have done is set up my microphone and voice meter and use the patch inserts to patch in my microphone to Carla. I have placed an info card on the screen for a guide on how to patch voice meter into a VST host like Carla. What I do is select the ASIO type for the device and then select the virtual ASIO option. After you do this, it will open a set of inputs and outputs in the Carla workspace. From there, you can add in the VST plugins from the file explorer on the left. When you go to add VST plugins into the workspace, you want to add them in in the order you want them processed. You can connect your left and right audio from your microphone device to each VST plugin in order, with the end being an output device then that ASIO output becomes the microphone on your computer. The great thing about using a VST host like Carla is having those live digital feeds. Many of you have downloaded my microphone presets for Equalizer APO from my other videos. For those of you that use Equalizer APO, you know that the VST plugins don't have a digital display. With a VST host, you will have a digital display on all of your plugins. This makes it so much easier when you're making adjustments to your live feed. 
Pedalboard 2 is a very lightweight and simple VST host. Pedalboard is made by Niall Moody. I could be butchering his name, but you can download it at nilemoody.com or using the link in the description below. Pedalboard 2, just like Carla, is rather simple. The great thing about Pedalboard is it will work directly with Windows Audio. That means you don't have to use an ASIO solution for USB microphones. You can select the input and output devices from the audio settings window found in the options tab. You can also find the VST plugins list from the options tab. To add VST plugins to Pedalboard, you need to open this window and scan for plugins. After that, you can get started by adding plugins into your sequence by double clicking the workspace. This is a VST host with nodes just like Carla. You set up your chain of processing and it ends with an output source that output source becomes the main microphone on your computer. Next on the list is Equalizer APO. Equalizer APO is an audio processing object. The great benefit of using Equalizer APO is it downloads directly onto your microphone. That means you don't need to use any ASIO solution like you would on a VST host because you don't have to select an output device when you're setting up your plugins in Equalizer APO. It also means that wherever you use your microphone, it will have those VST plugins applied to it. You don't have to route it. You don't have to do anything special except install it onto your microphone. The downside of this is it won't have any live feed or digital display when you're trying to edit those plugins. What I typically do is set up my chain of processing in Carla and then copy those settings over to Equalizer APO. This makes it a whole lot easier than monitoring my device on an app like Voice Meter as I make adjustments in Equalizer APO. I just do it directly in a live feed like Carla and then copy those settings over. After downloading Equalizer APO, you will need to install it onto your device. To do this, go to the Start menu, scroll down to Equalizer APO, and run the configurator as an admin. Once you have the configurator open, you will need to go to the Capture Devices tab, toggle your microphone, and install. It requires you to reboot your PC, so make sure you allow your PC to reboot. Otherwise, it may not install properly. To configure Equalizer APO, go back to the Start menu, scroll down to Equalizer APO, and select the Configuration Editor. It may prompt you with a window that says it's not installed to the device correctly. You can ignore this window unless changes don't take place after you set up. First, remove everything from the config.txt tab. After that, hit the plus button, go to control, and select the device. Hit the plus button again and add in any VST plugins you want in order. What I do is create a text document in the Equalizer APO folder in my program files and use that file as the chain of VST plugins in Equalizer APO. If you're interested in learning how to do that, you can watch my most recent Equalizer APO setup guide. The last grouping of apps I wanted to talk about are the virtual mixing solutions on your computer. The first one being Voice Meter. Voice meter is rather popular and it's a very popular topic on my channel specifically and it is a very useful tool for beginners on learning how to make adjustments for your microphone. You can set up your microphone in voice meter fairly easy using any of the setup tutorials that I have out there. Voice meter comes with its own EQ, its own limiter and all kinds of different things that you normally would use a VST plugin for. However, the biggest downfall of voice meter is it does not have VST support. That means you cannot use VST plugins directly with voice meter. You have to use all of the tools that are on the UI. The only way to use VST plugins with voice meter is to use its virtual patch inserts that we talked about before. You can patch in any of these inputs into a VST host and then use that VST host as your VST processing chain. While we're on the topic of voice meter, I also wanted to mention uh, two other solutions for virtual mixing that you might not be aware of. There are applications called ASIO Link, 
and audio jack you can also check out asio for all these are virtual asio solutions you can use them with your vst hosts for you know lower latency routing uh, you can use them as virtual mixers on your computer i believe asio link and audio jack are both virtual mixing uh, solutions just like voice meter but they're not uh, as user friendly and they don't have all the tools that voice meter has either if you're looking for any support after watching this video, feel free to hop in my Discord or Gilded servers, and my community will kind of help assist you through those problems. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. I suggest you head over to the voice meter tutorial or the equalizer APO tutorial after watching this video. And I want to thank you again so much for watching. Peace.